by the top. Hit it in it. I got some What's up, y'all? Trey B. In the building. You know what time it is. So today, you saw the title of the video. No explanation needed. First day, quarter mile, 600 horsepower. Right, on slicks. Right see what we can do. Uh, this is a first for me. It's all new. I mean, I've been to the track before, but on slicks and like the, the Jitly launch and all that. It's all new. So, uh, we at MIR. No stranger to MIR. This is where Honda Day was. Of course, I didn't race at Honda Day, but we're going to race today. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. She on them slickeries. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to adjust the tire pressure. I know this one, this side has a lot more air in it than this side. I actually probably should let air out of that side. I have no idea what PSI is at, and I don't have the freaking uh, the gauge. But yeah, let's get it. All right, so I'm in the the lanes, and um, since I've never ran on a quarter mile, I'm in I think it's the Pro Street or something like that. Which all that means here in this specific category is that uh, all cars, they're pretty much all stock cars when it looks up. It's like, that runs uh, 12 seconds and slower. Um, <laughs> being that I don't know what I'm doing, I'm sure I probably won't run faster than 12, but I mean, we're here to find out. So, uh, the nerves is jumping a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But that's natural. More excited than anything. I've been, a little backstory is, uh, while we waiting is, um, I've actually been waiting to bring this thing to the track for probably about almost a month now because it's rained like three weeks in a row. So, so this is definitely, uh, yeah, it's definitely where I need to be right now. All right, so probably about five races behind. Let's see what we can do, man. Um, I'm recording this part on my phone, but the actual race. I'm gonna turn on the GoPro. So. I may or may not put the phone on the uh, mount so you can see my face. We'll see. Perfect. All right, so, first time at the track. And I am paired up with a ZL1, so not too happy about that. Yeah. 
tell, it's extremely hot. Um, this I am perspiring to the max. So that was a trash run. Two reasons. I hit boost cut, uh, so I'm gonna have to actually go in the computer and change the the boost values on the boost by gear. I've been dealing with that all week, trying to get it dialed in. I, I was it was good on the street, but I guess it's a little more. I guess it's different today. You have to turn it down a little bit. Um, so the reaction time was uh, a point two eight two. Uh, Sixty foot was a two oh five three. The 330 was a 6.37. Eighth mile wasn't horrible. Well, yeah, eighth mile was horrible. Uh, it was a 9.1. And because I had boost cut, the actual quarter mile was a 14.3 at 94 miles an hour. But I'm going to go ahead and change this, this third gear. See if we can't get this thing right. Looking good on the slick stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Them show lights. dial it directly right on that number but if I <laughs> if I don't hit this cut I'm gonna destroy that number Let's see what happens yeah tomorrow's actually the dunk master uh competition you never heard of that uh country boy from down south they hook up their dunks 24s 26s 28s 30s they still be running eights and nines. I would like to come check that out tomorrow, but I ain't gonna be able to do it. All right, so we're pretty much in eliminations right now. So uh, if I don't win uh, against the guy that's next to me, then I'm basically done for the night. I don't really care about winning. I mean, right now I have uh, have it set for 14-0 because I keep hitting boost cut. If I hit boost cut again, I should be okay with that. But if I don't, I'm gonna demolish the time that I had, which is 14 out. Which I don't have a helmet, so they said that that's all you can do anyway. So we'll see what happens. finally does not hit boost cut and I have to let out um, I had put 14 though because I was running 14 twos and 14 uh, 14 two and 14 three so I was like if I hit boost cut I'll be spot on if I don't I'm gonna demolish the time but after I saw that it didn't hit boost cut I was like damn I got a chance at another pass so I let off and just missed it 13 nine I'm not proud of the time, but it's bracket racing. So the point is, whatever time that you register. So my, my dial time was 14.0. Oh no. My dial time was 14 flat, 
and I ran a 13.9. So I, I was patting the gas at the end. I was right there. His time was a 14.2. And since I ran faster than my time, I automatically lose. But if I would have hit 14, I would have won because I would have been closer than where he was. But uh, I will say that running the slicks does make a major, major difference, bro. Major, major difference. But, uh, yeah, man, it definitely makes a major difference, but this shit was, it was fun, hella fun. So I can't wait to like get it dialed in some more and then turn it up in, in, right. in the places where it needs to be turned up. Um, <sighs> yeah, man. It sucks, as soon as I get started, it's over. So I think they have a testing. It's a lot of noise in the background. There's a, a testing tune in two days at the same track. There's a testing tune at the same track on Sunday. I'm gonna try my best to make that because I need to dial this thing in. So we'll see, we might come back. We'll find out in another video. Um, if you guys like the video, hit that like button. If you thought it was dope, you know what I'm saying? Share it. And I told y'all I was turning up. So if you're not subscribed, you see that right there. Hit that, that's the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Playmakers. Okay. Auto Marvels, kind of the spinning. Man at the coupe, mama no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it the limit. I got some.